Hi, today I'm going to show you how to replace a broken burner on a Viking Professional electric range. Okay, here are the tools you're going to need for this project. Number one is a Phillips head screwdriver. One is a Sharpie marker. Number three is a regular plier. Number four is a needle nose plier. And number five is a quarter inch socket. Before you begin, make sure the power is turned off at your main circuit breaker. The first thing to do is safely and carefully remove the glass cover. Next, carefully mark the wires in which we will be removing so we can put them back later in the correct places. We'll be removing these two red wires, one, two, this white one, the red one in the back, and the yellow. I have noted them as left, right, left, R1 and R2, but you can label them any way you want, as long as you remember where to put them when you are reinstalling the burner. Using the two pliers, carefully remove the wires from the connections. Once the wires have been disconnected, you can use your ratchet to go ahead and loosen the element. Once you've loosened the screws, you can go ahead and take off the screws and be careful that you don't lose these spaces, very important. And you can go ahead and remove the burner. You will then have to go ahead and remove these two metal brackets and put them onto the new burner. Be careful when you remove these that you keep in place these metal spacers. With the bracket removed, you may want to go ahead and mark with a marker where the screws are going to go into for the bracket for the new burner. Once you're done putting in these brackets on the bottom of the new burner, you'll be ready to go ahead and put the burner back into the range top. So you can go ahead and get the screws that you took out before. Then go ahead and use the ratchet and install them again. Once the burn is secure, go ahead and reconnect all your wiring. Then go ahead and put on the cover. 